how to fit a no-pull freedom harness and the benefits of it today. This is a no-pull harness, also known as a freedom harness. And we like using it because it gives you more control. It's more comfortable for the dog because you can adjust it all different places. It's comfy here under their armpits. And we're going to talk about later in a separate video how to actually use it to help your dog walk better on a leash. Again, the reason I like it is because it's comfy for the dog, it gives you more control, and it fits just about any size dog. The one thing you're gonna need to remember though with this is that you only want it when you're working with your dog walking or training them. You don't wanna leave it on all the time because I speak from personal experience, your dog's gonna chew it off. And if you forget, they have a chew warranty, thank goodness, and you can send it in for a small fee and they'll actually fix it for you. What you're going to need to fit the harness is obviously a harness that would be appropriate in size. And I also like to use some food. That way it's a positive association for the dog that putting this piece of equipment on means good things happen. Now most dogs think that anyways because you're going on a walk or a ride, but some dogs don't. So we want to make sure it's super positive. I've got my friend here, Baron, and his friend, Lauren, and we're going to show you how to size this. Now when you're fitting it, what you want to think is Goldilocks. So you want it not too big, not too tight just right, and we're gonna show you how to do that. Step one, what a good demo guy. Whoops, sorry buddy. If your dog is worried about the clip, you're gonna make sure to clip it near them and add food, but he's cool with it. So to get on his level, and I'm gonna put some treats, <laughs> very good, close to the opening and just let him hang out with it and give him some snacks, good job buddy. All right, and so he's good with it, but if your dog wasn't, you would have them walk around the room with it hanging. So I'm gonna have uh, Lauren take a little modeling walk around. He may not wanna leave because he loves goodies. So that way he sees it's no big deal. And he's a perfect demo dog with a good care less. And so you can bring him back. And the first time you fit it, even when I do it, it's not always great. He's tripping over it. And he said, this is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, isn't it, buddy? So he came right back for the food. And we have him on leash just to limit his options. If you were at home, you wouldn't have to do that. So you're going to clip one side at a time. So I'm going to put a few treats on the ground for him to go for it. And then a clip, good. It's kind of like a diaper, you want to do it one piece at a time. And I dropped the food on the ground so that he has something to focus on so I can get him going. And it's almost there. So it's a little, little loose, and that's a good example. Good job, bud. So what we're looking for is that you can fit three fingers everywhere one at a time. So we're going to do it here. So you can see I can fit my whole arm in there, way too big in the front. And then we're going to go on the side. Close to right, I know. Now some people can fit the harness on the dog while it's on, I can't. So, I'm gonna take it off of him, and he can just hang out. I know, I'm gonna get lots of kisses and love. He loves snacks. And as of this video, this cutie patootie is actually up for adoption, if you can believe it. And he likes learning already. So we'll size it, you'll just adjust the little hooks a little bit. The ladies will understand this. Adjust little hooks at a time. I know. And then there's also a strap in the front. I didn't check that one, but I'm going to do that one down just a little bit. I know. What a good guy. All right. So now we're going to get him some more goodies because he doesn't work for free. Good boy. I know. There's some free ones. Good job, kiddo. I know. And Lauren's doing a great job of just keeping him here. Sometimes it's helpful to have an additional person. You saw he didn't care. He said, great, put it on me. I don't really care. Good job. He's a fast eater. And then we'll clasp one side. Good boy. Very nice. And we'll reach here. Again, if your dog was sensitive, you'd go much slower, but he's rocking it out. Ooh, it would be a little tight. There we go. Good job. And it's actually easier to put it on them when they're standing up. We'll just loop this through so you can do a little supermodel walk. We're going to clip it on the back for this round. I know. He's a big, handsome guy. All right, and then you're going to take a supermodel walk. Go on to the orange. Good job, bud. You can see how that fits nice. It fits nice and tight in the front. Good job, buddy. He looks great in his orange harness. Good. And then we're going to come back and do another size check. And the reason we're letting him walk around is because he needs to feel what it feels like, and we need to see how it moves. Good job, bud. Come this way. I know. Can you sit for me? Thank you. And so I'm going to check again. So I'm looking for three fingers, right? Three fingers. And some people like it a little bit looser, but I think it's fit just right. And it shouldn't move too much once you have it sized. 
unless your dog grows or shrinks, which could be good or bad, depending on your dog. Uh, but that's how to fit the harness. And in future videos, you're going to see um, this cutie walking on one of these harnesses. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below.